Hello ladies and gents, welcome back once again to Kushmik Sounds, to a very special edition of Kushmik Sounds. Now what have we got here? Well, it's in the title as always, but I'd just love to say it. Uh, this is a, a stunning Gibson Memphis ES335 TDC. So beautiful guitar, 2000, early 2014 model. Um, you've got uh, an all laminate, uh, laminate body with center block, um, so it's a semi-hollow. Uh, really comfortable, man, super comfortable uh, one-piece mahogany neck. And now the, the neck shape, I'm going to say it's uh, round about from here to here. You're looking at about a, a, like a, a C-shape, comfortable C-shape. Not super thin, not super thick. And then up towards the uh, body, it sort of uh, fattens out a little bit, so more of a, a bit more of a D, a slimmer D. But um, really cool, um, comfortable neck. Um, beautiful dark rosewood fretboard with uh, you know, famous block inlays. I love these guitars with the block inlays. They just aesthetically, it looks insane. It's in, look at that. How can you not turn that down? How can I sell this? Well, I'm running a business here. I can't buy all of them. But um, look on this one, it's been refretted. So the previous owner, so we've had a new bone nut put on, um, installed, and uh, looks like that's been made from scratch too. It's, um, yeah, it's a custom done. Um, now also uh, the frets, so these are, I'm going to say these are super jumbos, they, they're high, they're thick, and um, they've been done with bullet ends, so you've got maximum um, fretboard um, playability on this one as well, so super comfortable, no sharp edges or anything, it's done really, really well. Whoever done this, uh, kudos to you, um, fantastic job. Now um, these guitars, a little bit about them, a little bit of a, a history for you, so on these ones, uh, well, when you see these advertised, a lot of people will advertise these as a custom shop. Uh, they're not, in fact, a custom shop. They're a Gibson Memphis, so Memphis, Tennessee. At the time, all the ES guitars were made at the Memphis facility. So unless they are labelled with custom shop, they are a custom shop. If they're labelled with the orange sticker in there inside with Gibson, uh, with Memphis, Tennessee, it's a Memphis. It's not a custom shop. Um, now, I'll explain a little bit later on after I've done some playing about uh, how I came to, uh, this guitar came into my possession. But um, hardware, so aged, um, so you've got to say VOS, aged uh, nickel hardware. Um, beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, uh, original double line, uh, double line, double ring, are they double lines? No, they're single line, double ring Cluson tuners, uh, Cluson Deluxe. Um, original plastics, now these guitars, um, these are made, this is an early 2014, so it's made with 2013 specs. And why is it special? Well, 2013 was the 50th anniversary of the 63. So, funny enough that, if you know your maths. And so this guitar, being um, an early 2014, it still retains the same specs, but it's made in 2014, early 2014. So why is it special? Well, it comes with the awesome Gibson Custom buckers with El Nico three magnets. Now, the later one, the later three three fives and all that will come with fifty sevens, uh, fifty seven classics and less stated. So, custom bucker El Nico threes and they sound hot. Now, the original bridge um, was in the case with these uh, nylon saddles. It's now back in place. Uh, the replacement bridge that was on this guitar when I got it had brass saddles on it. I thought it sounded too bright, so I got rid of that, and uh, that has since been sold. Um, the nylon saddles, uh, they are all intonated. Now they're starting to sort of look a little bit, uh, I'm not going to say worse for wear, but the guitar is playable, it sounds great, it's killer. Um, I'd probably maybe recommend, um, I don't know, you could, I was thinking about buying new, new uh, nylon saddles, but I thought, no, I'm going to try and retain as much originality as possible. Now, um, I'm going to play for a little bit and then we'll start, we'll talk a little bit more afterwards because uh, otherwise this is going to turn into a 20 minute video. All right, let's go to this, uh, let's go to the neck pickup. <laughs> stank face going, how good is this? Thank you. 
chord. All right, let's go to the L. Let's go to the middle position. <laughs> Let's go to the bridge pickup. <laughs> guitar players that cannot shut up. Anyway, look, um, now as I said, I normally would finish the video now, but uh, let me just talk about how this guitar um, came into my possession and um, what the go is. So, uh, as to the price, so normally these would fetch a little bit of a higher price tag, but um, I can't I can't do that, I can't rip anyone off, and I've got to be 100% honest about uh, the internals, uh, the workings of the guitars and everything that I sell. I'm 100% honest and I'm fully transparent, so you, the buyer, if you want to order this without um, without playing it, you can be 100% sure that um, you are getting a genuine article. So, um, now, with this guitar, when I uh, spoke to, I, I bought this um, from a gentleman in Queensland, I uh, saw the ad on Gumtree and I thought, oh, that's a... That's not a bad deal. It's a little bit pricey, but not a bad deal. I'll see if I can get a little bit of a bargain. But um, look, he was pretty firm in his price, and I gave him what he what he wanted for it. Uh, only after talking to him at length. Uh, so I was on the phone to this gentleman for about uh, about forty five minutes, just shooting the breeze, having a chat. Um, now he sent me a bunch of photos and reassured me that everything on the guitar was original, apart from the re fret and the nut. So I I just thought, okay, well he's being honest there. So um, Everything else must be, you know, legit. But uh, he couldn't give me any photos, and he was a little bit too scared to sort of take anything out of the guitar. And I just thought, he just told me, I was like, look, they're untouched. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. I've never gone in there. So I thought, oh, okay, all right, well, um, do you have the uh, original COA, so Certificate of Authenticity? And um, he said, oh, yeah, that, that's um, that's in my, my cupboard somewhere, so I'll make sure that's uh, shipped out with the guitar. And uh, 
hindsight, I probably should have asked for it um, to, to see it, you know, because um, I was just going off of good, uh, good faith. Um, sometimes I can be a little bit too trusting, but um, I went off good faith and, um, you know, he told me about the refret, the new nut. I thought, okay, well, um, and it's it's been played. It's had a few gigs. So overall condition, I'm going to say this is probably about a, I'm going to say 7 out of 10 condition. Um, it's not mint um, and it's not relic. It's just got a tiny, tiny little bit of a, you know, shirt button wear on the back. Um, no belt buckle sort of stuff going on. And there's no huge gouges. There is one line, one little dent on the line here. And a uh, little bit of wear around here. A couple of little marks. Pick scratches. Um, tarnish, you know, patina, vintage patina sort of on the, uh, on the hardware. But the electronics, I was, I was kind of pissed off in a in a way. Um, sorry to say that's on the on the camera. I said I, I should have said I was annoyed, but anyway, it's done. I was annoyed when I got it because I plugged it in and the uh, tone controls weren't working. So I was like, oh bugger! So had to take the whole harness out of the guitar and um, found that um, uh, the caps had been destroyed. Some something had. I don't know, resold it or something. I don't know what was going on, but so it was a cow total cowboy job. And the wiring harness uh, was not original, so I had the original uh, pots, got Emerson pots in it. Um, so the original pots were there, which is which were cool. Um, now, in terms of uh, what's been done to it now, I've had to give this guitar to uh, Mark at Rocket Music. So I don't know if you can see that, but uh, here it is here. So Rocket Music Co. Now, what we've had done, Mark's a legend. He's a, he's a great guy. If you any of your repair needs, um, headstock repairs, neck resets, um, bridge replacements, pickup installs, uh, resprays, things like that, Mark is the guy um, to go to. So, uh, Mark, Rocket Music Co. Uh, check him out on uh, Facebook. Now, we've had a uh, full chassis rebuilt. Um, now... A full chassis rebuild so all uh, new wiring uh, still retaining the Emerson pots um, but I've opted for Emerson capacitors so um, I had the option of maybe going a bit cheaper and putting some orange drops in or something like that um, to cheaper ones but I thought no nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Emerson so we went with a set of um, we went with a pair of Emerson paper and oil caps and uh, they were worth uh, in Aussie dollars about 42.95 I think each so it's had a full ch chassis rebuild, and um, it's now it's now working absolutely perfectly. This guitar is on fire now, and um, it comes with its original um, Gibson case with uh, the beautiful gold lining. Now, about that certificate, uh, really annoyed actually. Uh, there was no certificate in the case. Um, <sighs> tried to get in contact with the buyer, but um, I've, I've since lost his number and. Um, and also, uh, the gum tree messages uh, are gone. So anyway, what I've done, I have um, ordered, I've, I got on eBay actually, and I ordered a replacement. Um, now, I don't know if this is 100% genuine, but uh, in Aussie dollars, this Gibson Memphis, Memphis booklet with a custom shop card on the inside, this cost me, I think it cost me all up about $190 just to just to get this now it's while it's not original it's still it's still cool to have and um, it's just something that I've done the research on it so it's a Gibson ES335 TDC but the actual model of this guitar if you look in in shops things like that it's um this is a, an ES6314 SB so um, S60 cherry B block NH1 nickel hardware um, and it's got the serial number 41637 so but this is a custom shop card it should be a Memphis card but I couldn't find any online so uh, look it's in here and um, there it is there you should be able to see that and there's the booklet so I thought I would add that as just something nice to have so and uh, in terms of price I can't go for the stupid high price so you know you win some you lose some um, whoever gets this this is a player this is such a great guitar and um, look if you don't want to pay stupid prices uh, for a vintage one or for a high-end brand new custom shop this is the way to go so ready to go everything's checked out um, I'm gonna leave it there ladies and gents um, and 
once again happy guitar hunting and i'll see you very soon with yet another gem i've got some more stuff coming and i'm pretty excited we'll see you next time